I jump into new projects. Looks absolutely atrocious. I'm already kind of behind. <laughs> I just finished my slow-ish morning. I've been trying to spend some time out on the back deck, um, just enjoying our new cushions. And it's pretty in the morning before it gets too hot. So I've just been trying to enjoy some time out there. It's been so nice. It reminds me of when I was in college in my first like real apartment. Um, we had a balcony and I mean, I was, I was religious about it. I would go sit on that balcony for like at least an hour. It was like the first thing I did every morning. Um, I would get up, I would go to the gym and then I would come back and I would sit on that balcony and I would do my devotions and read and pray and just sit. And like, it was so nice. And like to this day, one of my favorite memories is, is doing that every morning. And so I'm like, I have a house now. <laughs> Why am I not incorporating this into my daily routine? So anyway, I've been trying to enjoy that. And then I finished filming a vlog, which uh, you'll see. And so I'll, I'll put it here. But now I'm getting ready to do an early lunch. I'm going to try to go ahead and get my workout in, which is just going to be a nice long power walk outside. I'm going to listen to a podcast. I'm going to try to get that in before I jump into new projects, which today is going to be the dining room windows is priority one. And then if I have time getting started on the staircase windows. And so um, very excited for finally getting some paint on this trim because it looks pretty bad. Let me show you. First of all, I cannot wait to take those down. They don't work and they're blocking so much light just hanging like this. So can't wait to take those down. But the trim looks absolutely atrocious because Rambo, when he sees salamanders crawling around out there, he comes and he like scratches at this. And so I'm hoping that with some paint, that'll look much better and much more finished. And then I also need to really work on these windows. They're all kinds of like gunked up from um, previous tape that was used and it just, they need a good deep clean and I think it's gonna make this space look much more polished. So cannot wait to get my hands on that today. And then we have a similar story over here with the staircase window. So we actually didn't even finish painting the trim down here. Um, because originally there was a lot of stuff under here for the longest time. So we didn't even get to this. And these windows also desperately need to be cleaned because Rambo comes and uses this as his little secret hideout. Desperately need to be painted. And obviously we need some privacy. So I cannot wait to hang the window film and finish painting all this. It's just gonna look so much better. So yeah, very excited to start working on these projects. And hopefully it goes pretty quick because I feel like a lot of the times when you start working on like a simple project like this, it starts to take forever. You know what I mean? I feel like it it can just drag on and on. It's like, oh, I need another coat of paint. Oh my goodness, I ran out of paint. Now I gotta go run here. Oh, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not dreading it, but like, I just know it's coming. I just know that this is going to take me far longer than I think it will. Um, and that's not even including getting started on the actual staircase itself. So anyway, that's why I'm going to do a nice long walk, get my lunch in, kind of get everything else that's on my mind to do today off my mind before I dive into this. So that way I can at least just like sink into it and just start painting. So let's make some lunch, go for a nice walk and then get painted. I was able to get the big window down and then this middle one, but this one is not budging. Um, <laughs> it has a stripped screw on this side and then on this side, they are so tight and it is so hard to get a screwdriver in there that like I cannot physically turn it. And I think I'm gonna have to wait for Josh to get home tomorrow to see if he can get it down or what we can do. Um, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to paint all these frames today. So I don't know if I want to go ahead and just start painting the two that I can reach and then just wait and do this one. Or if I want to move over to the staircase and just put all my effort into it. I don't know because this was kind of my plan for today and it's taken me an hour just to get these two down and I feel like I'm slowly running out of time. So like I just don't know what I want to do right now. Good morning. So I wound up not working on the dining room windows the other day after I got stuck. I wound up just waiting for Josh to get home. However, yesterday was actually my birthday. And so Josh actually took me on like a fun little outing kind of day. We went to the bookstore and we went and we got some lunch and then he booked me a massage for the afternoon, which was my first massage. I've never had a professional massage before. And that was really nice. So anyway, that's what I did yesterday. But he did take down the blinds over in the dining room, which means I can paint this weekend. So let me show you. So he was able to get this out, which means we have the nice wide open windows back here ready to paint and I cannot wait to see these outlined in the black. I just remember how much of a difference that made over in the living room and with it looking out on our back deck which is definitely the prettier view of the two. I, I just I cannot wait. Plus then I can't wait to do something with these chairs. By the way I don't know if I showed you this is the one that has the most damage um, aka the only damage. So this is the only one where the cane has any kind of break or tear but the rest are in perfect condition so i'm thinking i may just go ahead and paint it or actually glue it together where it doesn't break further and then just paint it like the rest of the chairs and then since my idea is to do uh three chairs on one side the two ends and then the bench i'm thinking i can put the one that has the hole in it over in the corner and just drape a blanket or something on it I don't know something like that to where it's not really a big deal that it has a hole in it at all i just can kind of use it anyway so anyway today we are going out to lunch with my mom for my birthday 
actually a combined lunch for both my birthday and then Josh's birthday because they never got the chance to take us out. So we're gonna do that today, but I'm also gonna try to edit a video um, and work on some computer stuff, but yeah, another chill day. And then this weekend, I'm hoping I'll finally get the chance to start painting. We have like a busy weekend planned. Josh was reminding me that we had plans for Sunday too. And I was like, oh my goodness, like I was planning on painting on Sunday, but I guess I'm not now. Total side note, just cause I keep seeing them. So these are new. These are the free people overalls. They're like the overall shorts. I'm obsessed with them. So uh, I've been seeing, ooh, almost not coffee over. I had been seeing influencers post about these free people overall shorts and I just thought that they were just being like, I don't know. I, I'm not, like, if a brand is better, then yes. Like, I think it deserves the quality, but just because it's a name brand, like, that doesn't mean anything to me, obviously. As a thrifter, like, I could care less. Um, but I have to say, I accidentally found these. Me and my mom went shopping and I found these at the mall. I didn't realize what brand they were. I didn't seek them out for that, but I just was like, let me try those on. Like those look nice, they feel soft. Tried them on, love them. Realized later, they are the brand of the overall shorts that all the influencers I see are posting about. And I kind of get it now and I kind of want them in every color. <laughs> They're so soft. Like the quality is just outrageous. So anyway, if you see the influencers posting about them, I can just confirm there's a reason. Uh, they're not just like trying to get you on like some crazy brand. Like they're actually really soft, really comfortable, really great quality. Anyway, just had to throw that in there because I was kind of a doubter. <laughs> okay, I need to go try to get some computer work done before my mom gets here. Um, the house is also a mess, but that may just have to stay a mess uh, until I can get to it, but yeah. I need to go get some computer work done before she gets here because once she gets here, I probably won't get much work done for the rest of the day and I'm already kind of behind. So I probably need to go do that and then we'll see if I have any time tonight. I really doubt it, but um, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we are painting these dining room windows. Okay. It's now the next day, and it's actually much later the next day. It's about 4.30 right now. This morning, I went and picked up our groceries, and then I did some computer work for a while, and then I've spent most of the afternoon taking photos and creating the listings on my Poshmark of all the things that I cleaned out of my closet clean out. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it for you, and then I'll also link my Poshmark shop just in case you're in the market for some really cheap like name brand shorts and things like that. Um, I just have a bunch of stuff that I don't wear much anymore and thought I would list it for cheap. So I'll leave that linked for you and you can go check it out if you would like. So I'm going to try to just power through, <laughs> even though I tend to lose my energy in the afternoon. I am totally a morning person and by like two o'clock in the afternoon, my brain starts getting a little slower. My energy starts going down. And I mean, usually by dinner time, I'm like, not. I, there's nothing left in me, which I know sounds really sad, but like I just am such a morning person. So I'm gonna try to just power through because I really don't have anything else to do today. So, so I'm gonna put something on to listen to and just zone out, paint, and hopefully have these windows all done. So that way we can start to bring the dining room together a little bit at a time. So let's go paint.
don't know why I always forget that this black paint takes many coats. <laughs> and then also, I literally did this exact same project over in the living room. And somehow I magically forgot that I have to go back with the wall color and trim it all out after I do at least two coats on the window trim itself. So it's not as easy of a project or as quick of a project as I hope, like wanted to remember it being. Um, but I did get one good solid coat on everything and hopefully I'll have time tomorrow to get the second coat on, which goes much faster and then spend most of my time trimming it out, cleaning it up, finishing it off. The other thing I need to do is unfortunately these windows had this tape um, when they were originally painted, like right here, and it left this film on here because it wasn't painter's tape. And so I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that. Maybe it needs goo gone or I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll be able to scrape it off with the scraper, similar to like when I go scrape off the paint. I don't know, but I'm gonna go shower because I'm a mess and I'm very quickly tapping out for the day. I will see you tomorrow when hopefully I can get back to doing coat number two and finishing up these windows. Good morning. I spent the morning finishing up the paint on the dining room windows and it is looking so good. I forgot that it took so many coats of paint and then also that you have to go back and trim out in the wall color. I still need to scrape the windows themselves, but trimming it out in the wall color makes such a big difference. Like it looks so good. I'll show you as soon as I'm done washing the paintbrushes, but I finished that other than the windows themselves i need to go scrape the paint off and also scrape off a bunch of other stuff that was already on the windows um and clean them really good but the paint is pretty much done over there which is awesome something that i've been wanting to do for a long time and it looks so good which means that we can move on to the staircase windows today which i'm overly excited about because they are such a sore point they're not even painted white like they are just raw so i'm really excited to get to those but first i need to finish washing out these brushes and kind of go size up the staircase and see exactly what we're dealing with but I will see you very soon over on the main channel for this entire makeover. Bye guys.